everything he does is amazing for everything he does in, is amazing for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose for the good of us that love him and are called according to his purpose would you say you love him and how do you show that you love him it is by seeking his word when you love a person you want to hear from that fellow often you see you begin to put a call across uh, if the person refuses to answer you call and call again you drop about 15 missed calls <laughs> I know because back then right about how many years ago now say 8 years sometime in 2014 2015 there was one brother one friend that used to um like me so much he would call me and I know that there was one time he left about how many messages on whatsapp hello hi are you there hello good morning hope you slept away then a piece two how are you please answer me you know and he would drop calls too so that's what happens and even if I don't answer even if I have not responded the last message he will send another one he will keep sending to get a response and that's how it is supposed to be with God when you say you love him you keep asking him you keep talking to him till you get a reply from him and the fact that you don't get a reply does not mean that mm, maybe he doesn't love me or maybe um, he's not interested in me because that's not the way we do with human with fellow human when we like a person you know we keep going after the person we know how men can be and how some ladies too can be when they like a person they keep calling and calling and calling and visiting you know but because you pray to God about one thing just one thing and he has not answered you stop going to church <laughs> that's not how it is when you love a person actually in the real world the fact that the person has not responded has not given you a yes or no does not mean that you stop going to visit the person you still keep going in hopes that maybe one day he will answer me maybe one day she will answer me give me a positive response you see that is how it's supposed to be with God we're supposed to keep going back to hear from him keep asking him keep praying to him keep praying to him. one day we hear a response and because once his word comes light comes once his word comes light comes the bible says that his, his word is a lamp to our feet right his word and we need if the word has not come meaning that we don't have light there is no light to walk with we begin to roam in darkness in confusion you begin to roam without knowledge without you know wisdom on how to go about issues then we we'll begin to depend on things like alcohol begins to depend on things like drug to be able to stand to face that situation but once you have the word you have everything it shines light to your heart you know you have wisdom the wisdom just come then the knowledge comes you know what to do what to say how to address that situation but when we run when we ask him once ask him twice and doesn't respond we stop depending on him and then we begin to look for alternatives like drugs like alcohol which is not supposed to be you need to keep asking to you is what comes you need to keep asking to you, is what comes you need to keep asking to you, you get a response from him because that's the way you do with women that's the way you do with men when you like a man you call you keep calling keep doing things to attract his attention when you like a woman, you keep doing things. Go your extra mile to get our attention. So how much more God? Whom, when he responds to you, when he looks down on you, you know, your life changes forever. Light comes and shines over every darkness in your life. How much more God? You need to keep staying in the world. Keep staying to you. His light, his light comes. Keep saying, in a world where we fight, where we fight, stay focused on God. Where we fight, to keep, to keep, um, remain connected to God. Because there are a lot of voices in the world, and you need to be very intentional about shutting out those other voices to, in order to hear God. We hear every other voices every day, every other voices. So it takes, you know, intentionality, time, you know, patience to hear God. Where in a place where there's a lot of noise. Glory to God.